Hello there, Bob Stockberger again with you from LifePoint Giles. Today we're talking about motherhood, a highest calling. As you well know, this past Sunday was Mother's Day. And for those of you whose mothers are still living, I'm sure you call, sent cards, gifts, and maybe went out to dinner, made um, breakfast in bed for moms at home. But we really are blessed with mothers. And I think right now, what your mom has meant to you. I know I lost my mom several years ago, and I remember her a lot, and what a wonderful influence she was on my life. You know, I'm up here in D.C. Um, leading um, Granddad's Academy. I'm teaching a couple of kids up here that are having to do a lot of work for their school and helping out uh, a few days a week now, just three days, yay. So I'm back at home for four days a week. And my granddaughter <clears throat> today, we, were, we had finished our lessons and she was showing me how to hold a baby doll. She said, no, granddad, look, you got the blanket up on her mouth, she can't breathe. So I pulled the blanket down and then she said, oh, you gotta give the baby your finger so she can nurse it and be happy. She's gonna cry otherwise. <laughs> and, I, and I started laughing. But don't you see, <clears throat> this um, young lady, just uh, four years old, has already learned from her mom how to be a loving mother. She is mimicking the behavior she saw in her mom, our daughter. And our daughter, learned how to be a mom from her mother, who happens to be my wife. I'll never forget <clears throat> a time that uh, Kathy said this. We had our four children, we were doing something and she had a bunch of them in her lap. And um, she said, you know, this is what God has made me for. I am just so happy. And yes, indeed, this is what God has made mothers for. They have a unique gift from God to be loving and nurturing and caring, to share these loving traits with their daughter, who then shares them with the granddaughter and passes on this loving nature. Being a mom is really one of the highest callings any human can have. So this is important. There's no greater responsibility than bringing up a family and teaching children to love Jesus, to love others. There is no higher calling as, than that as a mom and a dad. You know, Jesus loved his mom dearly. And these two verses tell the whole picture. <clears throat> this is in John 19. Um, you may want to underline these. John 19, um, 25 through 27. Jesus has just been nailed to the cross a few hours earlier. All of his disciples have deserted him, except one that you'll hear about right now. And the women never deserted him. Listen, the women never never deserted. All the other disciples had gone except one. So here's the story. I mean, here's what happens at the cross. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother, now think about this. He's up on the cross in agony, dying. He sees his mother, and what does he do? He saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby. The disciple Jesus in this is in John, obviously, and it is John. The disciple whom he loved, John uses all through his gospel to show himself. That's the, the exact words he uses for himself. So he said to this disciple whom he loved, then he said to the disciple, woman, he said to his mother, excuse me, woman, behold your son. And then in verse 27, then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. 
And listen to this. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Don't you see the love Jesus had for his mother? In the first century, the oldest son, when he died, frequently meant loss of income for the family. And the mother, who was a widow, which she was, had no real source of income. So Jesus, with his last breath, he talked to John about taking his mother. And just a couple of sentences down, more, no more than a couple of minutes, Jesus said, it is finished. So with the last, almost the exact last breath of his life, Jesus is loving his mother and taking someone whom he trusted and saying, this is now your mother. Take her as your own. And from that very hour, she went to the home of John and he became her caregiver, caretaker, supporter for the rest of her life. So often, motherhood in our culture is treated at sometimes even as a second class citizen. Being a mom, I've heard mothers tell me this, they feel put down, they feel uh, essentially almost discriminated against. We value so much uh, a career, money, prestige. That seems to take the place or override being a mother sometimes. You may have read the story of a little four-year-old who said, Mommy, Mommy, I'm so excited for the coronavirus. This little girl didn't know what a coronavirus was. She didn't know the devastation that it had caused. And the mother was puzzled. She said, well, why, honey? Because you're here with me. This career mother is working at home. And it made her really think, wow, look how happy my little girl is about the coronavirus. She doesn't understand it, but she's so happy because I'm here with her. As I've shared many times in our devotions during our lockdowns, during our time alone, this is a great time to really dig deeply into God's Word, increase your prayer time, your intake of His Word, and your prayer time, your devotional time, and really seek, as I've told you over and over, to find out what the Lord is calling you last week, what the Spirit is leading you to do. And I pray that this young mom whom this little girl thanked for being home with her. I'm praying that she may be, have a moving, move, the Spirit moving in her life to show her what's so important about being a mother. The highest calling, a blessing. This is what God made me for, my own wife said. And this is one of the highest callings any person can have to raising a family with love and nurturing them and raising them to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Thank you all your mothers. Thank you for all that you do for your families and your children. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Pray with me. Father God, thank you for mothers the blessing that they are to our families, our children. Lord, I just praise you for motherhood and the high calling that motherhood really is. Father, may we respect and honor our mothers as you tell us to do in your scripture to honor our mothers. And may we praise them and be thankful to them all the days of our lives for the great blessing that they are to each of us. For it is in your Son's precious name that I pray. Amen.